guys, Mark McKillar here with Live Anabolic, and guess what? Today's chest day. I've shot several videos like this recently. I've turned my garage into a gym, and instead of designing a workout program for you guys to do, I just want you to follow along and see what I do, okay? So I literally came up with this plan just a few minutes ago. This is for myself, okay? You guys can copy this, okay? You can modify it, do whatever you want depending on what kind of equipment you have at home. So today is gonna to be an unusual chest day for me, okay? So normally I'm just doing bands and dumbbells. If I've been at the gym, I'm doing all kinds of machines and cables. Uh, don't have that luxury. So I'm gonna focus on doing push-ups today. Now, push-ups is probably one of the oldest exercise, been around for thousands of years. You know, push-ups and squats are probably the two oldest, most effective body weight exercises you can do. And, you know, a lot of us don't do them because we have gym memberships and we have all this equipment. Well, I need to get good at push-ups because, just a little teaser here, I'm going to be creating a military-style workout with a buddy of mine who's in the Marines. He's an officer in the Marines and he can just absolutely kill push-ups. I mean, he just makes me look like a little girl. So I'm trying to get better at them, okay? And I've been practicing and I really have gotten better. So you guys can practice and get a lot better also. So very first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop down and I'm gonna do as many push-ups as possible without resting, okay? I shot a vi video recently where I shot as, I did as many push-ups as I could, but, I, but you rest, meaning resting in the up position which is allowed in the military, okay? The Marines actually allow you to do that, resting, you know, with your butt up in the air on your hands and your feet. But this is gonna be no rest, okay? Just as many as I can crank out until I just give out. That's gonna just totally blast me. Then I'm gonna go into what I would consider kind of a more traditional chest workout where I'm doing flies with bands and dumbbell presses and incline. But after every single traditional exercise, Without resting, I'm just gonna drop down the floor and knock out some push-ups. So that's gonna be a superset, basically. So if I'm doing incline dumbbell presses, okay, I might knock out 12, 15 reps, put the dumbbells down, get on the floor, knock out some push-ups, okay? So I'm gonna do that all throughout the workout. So by the end of the day, no telling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep track, but I'll, I'll probably have, you know, 150 push-ups in addition to all of my band exercises and dumbbell exercises. So guys, follow along. I think you're really gonna like this workout. It's gonna really hurt. <laughs> all right, guys, very first exercise, just straight traditional push-ups. I'm gonna see how many I can do without resting or pausing, okay? This is always a tough exercise when you try to max out on something, okay? One, two, three. Okay, guys, 46. Okay, that hurts, but man, is it effective. So all you guys need to do this, okay? You need to figure out what your one set, maximum number of push-ups that you can do without resting or pausing. Because when you do my military workout plan, plan that I'm coming out with later this summer, I got a really cool way that I've figured out how to give you guys instructions on how to do push-ups. It's going to be a percentage of your one set max. So you have to know that. Now I know, 46. All right, guys, the next exercise I'm doing are flies with bands. Now I 
got creative here and I bought two extra sets of bands. So I, I mounted them up here on the tire rack and that's, they're probably 10, 11 feet apart. So basically it's gonna act like a cable crossover machine at, at a gym. And it really feels fantastic, but you have to have two sets of bands to do this. So once again, I started off with as many push-ups as I could do, and I maxed out at 46. And I mean, I already got, I mean, already got a pump going just from doing one set of push-ups. You know, chest is a really showy muscle, guys. It looks good, you know. Even in a t-shirt, if you got a big chest, it's impressive. Now this movement, instead of a pressing movement, this is gonna be a fly movement, okay? And I like to do that when I create workouts for myself. So I try to do a, a pressing movement and a fly movement, and then a press movement and a fly movement. I kind of like to vary things up, hit the muscles from different angles, kind of confuse the muscle. And remember, today is a push-up emphasis chest day. So after I do a set of flies here, I'm just gonna drop the handles, go straight down to the ground, and knock out as many push-ups as I can. But because I'm already just flat out dead, okay, I'm already, I'm already beat it, I'm probably only gonna be able to do 10 push-ups at the end of a set. Okay, so when you superset like this, guys, the second exercise, typically you'll be just gassed. You won't be able to do a lot, but that's okay. That's the point. All right, here we go. Starting off with some flies. Got to lean into it here, guys. Get a little tension in these bands. And then, Supersets, wow, are a really great way of just radically increasing the intensity and making a workout much, much harder, okay? So I urge you guys to work some of these more sophisticated methods into your workouts. I don't care whether it's chest day, arm day, leg day, doesn't matter. Supersets, rest pause sets, drop sets, several ways to really make your workouts a ton tougher, especially when you're working out at home and you may not have as heavy weights as you would at a gym. It's a great way, man, to get a fantastic pump. All right, guys, the third exercise today, I'm gonna to be doing some dumbbell incline presses. Now, started off with just straight, plain Jane push-ups, as many as I could knock out. Remember, when you do that, you're pretty much hitting your chest from a perpendicular angle, which gets pretty much all the different muscle groups in the chest. Then I went and did, I did flies, okay? And the flies uh, were not real high, so basically I was also targeting the majority of the muscles in my chest. I wasn't really targeting the upper or lower, okay? But it was a fly movement. Now I'm changing things up. I'm going from a fly movement back to a pressing movement. But because I have the bench set up with an incline setting here, okay, that is gonna focus more on the upper part of your chest, guys. So you can't neglect the different areas, okay? If you just do the same, type of exercise over and over and over, you're just gonna develop the muscles that are affected by that particular exercise and you'll be neglecting all the other muscle fibers. So once again, I really go out of my way when I create workouts for myself and especially when I create workouts for you guys to hit your muscles from lots of different angles with lots of different types of exercises because that is gonna recruit the most muscle fibers which in turn, of course, builds the biggest chest. So here we go, we're gonna be doing some Dumbbell <clears throat> incline presses here. <sighs> and then remember after this, I gotta drop down and do push-ups. One, two, four, five, six, seven, nine. 
So that's 18. Put these down. Superset it with some push ups. Oh my gosh, this is going to kill. Gosh, okay, so only six push-ups, okay. So as this workout progresses, I'm gonna have more and more sets under my belt, so to speak. So every time I get down and do push-ups as my superset, I'm gonna be able to do fewer and fewer number of reps. That's just the way it goes, okay. Guys, be sure and try supersets. You're gonna love them. Okay, guys, the fourth exercise today I'm going to go back to flies, okay, using these bands, but I'm changing things up. Remember, I always talk about hitting the muscle from different angles. Well, the first time I did flies, I had the anchors up high here, okay? Now, I'm going to move the anchors down low. So, if you have it set up with a carabiner like this, all I have to do is come down here and boom, I'm already set up on my low anchor, okay? So, I'm going to be doing flies with a low anchor. I'm going to be bringing the handles up towards about face level. And of course, what does that do? That hits the muscle from a different angle. I'm going to be focusing more on my upper chest muscles now, okay? And once again, just like everything else today, after I knock out about 10 to 12 reps with this, I'm going to drop down and do push-ups. And because you're not seeing every single set that I do today, just letting you know, guys, this is wearing my ass out. And I'm only able to do four push-ups now, okay, when I do a superset. So watch this. You'll see how tough it's gotten. Down, let's see how many push ups I can do. One, two, three. Okay. I'm happy I got seven that time. I think it's because I've gotten a little bit longer rest in between sets because I was talking to you guys. It gave me longer to get the blood going back to those muscles, get the oxygen going in there. Anyway, guys, doing flies with a low anchor like this and bring your hands from a low position, okay, up to about face level, really focuses on the upper part of your pecs here, guys. And that is a really hard area to hit. Most guys, including myself, don't have big upper pecs, okay? And so I typically spend about two thirds of my chest day focusing on my upper chest. You guys need to keep that in mind when you work your chest. Okay guys, this is the fifth and last exercise for today. I'm gonna to be doing decline dumbbell presses. Now, guys, once again, I'm hitting the muscle from a different angle, right? Almost everything else I've done today is focused on my upper chest or basically the entire chest, okay? Because I'm gonna have my head slightly lower than the rest of my body, it's gonna force my arms into an angle where I emphasize the lower part of my pecs. You can think of it like a wonder bra, guys, trying to get that muscle up there, right? So remember, even though you've been watching me do one set of everything today, remember, I'm doing two more sets off camera that you guys are not seeing. So. Man, I am really beat right now, guys. It's, it's already been about an hour, okay, of working out. But this is my last exercise. Once again, after I do this, I'm gonna superset it by putting the dumbbells down and then getting down on the ground and doing push-ups. Oh, 
All right, weights go down. And then I go down. One. Oh, two. Okay. Man. <laughs> These push-ups are getting tougher and tougher with each additional set. So guys, don't feel embarrassed if you're doing this at home and you can only do one, maybe two push-ups. <laughs> That's fine. Now, if you're getting that low in your number of push-ups, try this. Do your push-ups on your knees, not on your toes. That'll take a ton of weight off your chest and you'll be able to crank out some more reps. So I would say, if you can't do at least three or four push-ups, do them on your knees. All right, guys, finished with chest workout today. Last thing I do is take a picture of the whiteboard so I'll know next week what I did this week. I'll be able to kind of track my progress, and especially when it comes to bands. I always forget what color bands I used on different exercises. It's easier to remember how much weight you use with dumbbells. So that's why I like to take this picture. It also kind of holds me accountable. I think you guys ought to try this at home. You don't have to have a whiteboard. It could just be a piece of paper, okay? So guys, hopefully, you liked the video and got a lot out of it. I'm trying to be really creative and give you guys tons of kind of interesting ideas and different ways to do things when you're working out at home. And of course, be sure and subscribe to this channel because Gary and I are constantly putting really cool, interesting new things up here. And also it helps us. If you hit that little thumbs up, that like button, it actually helps us with our YouTube ranking. So that's why we're always asking you to do that. Post some comments below, share it with your buddies. And as always, guys, remember, this and this are not going to happen overnight, right? So you got to always stick with it and never give up on yourself.